Hello and welcome to another unboxing and discussion video. So I was in my local store Firestorm um, having a crusade game the other day and I saw these chaps on the side and I thought I kind of want to collect everything for Necrons. Um, so I picked up a Hexmark Destroyer. Um, yeah, looking like it just looks totally bizarre. <laughs> um, but yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's crack him open and, and see. I've literally just taken the cellophane off him. Here we go. So, there we go. So, obviously, it's a one sprue kit. So, base. Um, I imagine it's the same size as the Scorpec Destroyer, just with guns. Um, yeah, he is, yeah. So, like quite an intricate build by the look of it. Um, but you'd expect that with all the pipes and cables and so on and so forth on his back. Um, Let's have a, have a look. Yeah, so he's got six of these pistols, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's just like a, a shooty, heck, um, shooty destroyer, isn't he? I love all this on the bases as well, where it's done those little scarabs on them and things like that. As his head, he's got this ocular array on his head, which is cool as well. So yeah, I'm gonna give him a build. Um, but I thought as well what would be pretty cool would be to actually discuss what it's like in the game. Uh, so, here we go. So, Hexmark Destroyers. There were once death marks that went a little bit more mad. <laughs> uh, so, he's got the start line of a destroyer. So, movement 8, weapon skill 3 plus, ballistic skill 2 up. Yeah, which is good. Strength and toughness and wounds of 5 as well. So, he's got some stopping, staying power. Four attacks, leaves you 10, he's an Ekron, and 3 plus save. He's armed with 6 and mythic disintegrator pistols which is an 18 inch range pistol one strength six minus one one damage now if you're firing off six shots in on twos at strength six you're wounding marines on threes and anything like eldar guard tau on twos and it's minus one to the save now never underestimate a minus one to a save even on a three up armor you're going to start killing stuff he's got the living metal ability command protocols which will work for everything again and he's got dimensional translocation so let's have a look at what that does so dimensional translocation there we go So, Necrons are unparalleled masters of technological law. Well, we all know that, don't we? And can even bend the dimensions of space. Um, during deployment, you can set up this unit in a hyperspace oubliette, or dimension, um, instead of setting it up on the battlefield. If you do, then it is in, in the reinforcement step of one of your movement phases, you can set up this unit anywhere in the battlefield that is more than nine inch away from enemy models. So suddenly, that makes him a really good assassination piece. So he can basically be in reinforcements and then just go, right, okay, I'm just gonna appear here, nine inch away, and I've got 18 inch range pistols, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just nail this spirit seer or whatever it is is there. So he also has a rule called inescapable death. Each time this model makes a ranged attack, you can ignore any or all hit roll and ballistic skill modifiers. So if you have a positive one, you could, you could use that, but I suppose you're already hitting on two up. Um, and the target does not receive the benefits of cover. <laughs> In addition, each time this model fires Overwatch, it hits on twos instead of sixes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm really liking this. Yeah, so basically you can drop him in, out of this dimension, within nine inch of an enemy character that thinks it's really clever, bunkering at the back, and just go, oh, actually, no, you're the closest thing, and uh, I'm just going to hit you six times on twos. Um, and you're not getting any cover. Multi-threat eliminator. So each time an enemy model is destroyed by a ranged attack made by this model's amnetic disintegrated pistols, after this model makes the rest of its attacks, it can shoot with one of its disintegrated pistols one additional time. So basically you could, if you kill something, you get a little shoot again with one of them, which again is great. Um, Hardwired for destruction as well, so each time this model makes an attack, reroll hit rolls of ones. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I really, really like that. As well as a hyperspace hunter. Um, so there is, and I believe, in here, a stratagem where 
you get to pop in. Uh, let's have a look. Try tin blades, core infantry, flayed ones, where he like pops out of. You can intercept, I believe. But let's just have a quick look. Here we go. Okay, so for one command point, you can also use eth etheric interception. Use this stratagem in the reinforcement step for your opponent's movement phase after an enemy unit has been set up on the battlefield. Select a hyperspace unit, hyperspace hunter unit, that's me, <laughs> um, from your army that is either on the battlefield, in hyperspace dimension, or in strategic reserves. If that hunter unit is in a hyperspace dimension, or in reserves, set up anywhere on the battlefield within 18 of the enemy unit and more than 9 inches away from the enemy models. Okay, so the hyperspace unit can at the end of the phase shoot as if it were at shooting phase. But until the end of that phase, it can only target the enemy unit that it was just set up on the battlefield. So basically, somebody goes, oh, I'm going to be really fancy here, and I'm going to deep strike this in behind you, or I'm going to do this. Well, this one of these boys can pop up and give them a good volley before they actually do anything. Really good counterplay, that. Yeah, really like it. So, yeah, he's interesting. He is four power, and... I believe seventy five points. So yeah, I'm I'm really sort of quite keen on seeing what these guys can do. There seems to be quite a lot of utility with them. Um so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna build him up and we'll have a look at the model when he's fully built. Okay, so we're all built. Uh total build time about twenty minutes for me. Yeah, it was relatively easy. Uh, a little bit fiddly for the final guns, but no, you have him. One Herx Mark Destroyer. So yeah, it's just cool. Freaky, bizarre alien technology, which is what I love about the Necrons. Uh, there was a choice of two heads, so I've gone for one that looks like a dartboard. <laughs> and there he is, yeah. So I'm going to enjoy getting him painted up and added to the Legion. I think he'll join my Destroyer cult as fitting. Um, so he's, he's going to add that reactive you know, when somebody drops something behind the lines, things like that. I think that's what it's going to be really useful for. So, so there you have it. Hex Mark Destroyer, I think, worth every uh, every point, pound, and uh, power level. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, please comment. Uh, tell me what you think about the Hex Mark Destroyer. Uh, if you're adding them, if you're avoiding them, if there are any tactics and tips you can give me. Um, and as always, um, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, please. <laughs> it does mean a lot to me. Um, thanks for watching. And as always, guys, happy hobbying.